If I'm wrong, I will eat. I'll eat this game and watch. I'll eat. I'll, I'll swallow it whole, which would be really unfortunate for you, the viewer, because I'm doing a giveaway for this. But if I have to eat it, well, then there's nothing to give away, is there? Tomorrow night is the Video Game Awards, and many of us have high expectations. But let's talk about some of our biggest hopes for tomorrow, as well as the lie that we know Jeff Keighley is perpetuating regarding the involvement of Blizzard Activision. Probably. I'm Solace, and this is Solace and Dread. We post gameplay, reactions, and analytical content to everything video games with a hyper focus on Nintendo and Square Enix content. First, let's start with the positives. Let's talk about everything that we're actually looking forward to seeing tomorrow, and we'll run down the list really quick. First off, the sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We got two te teaser trailers at this point. Um, at one point, we only knew that the sequel is in development and something was happening at, was happening at Hyrule Castle. Beyond that, we got another one where we were able to, where they showcased some of his new abilities, um, some new looks. They showed him from behind with his hair loose, which we haven't seen the front of him yet. I'm still under the impression that that is a different person, that my theory here is that that is a ancient link or a link from the ten from the war 10,000 years ago. My hope and my theory is that he eventually becomes what we come to know as Ganon uh, once the malice kind of takes over with him, but we'll see. Um, I'm just hoping that this new title is The Rise of Ganon. That's my guess for what the next one's going to be. I don't think I'm right, but I might be, you know, no, I, I did say that I would swallow a uh, Joy-Con whole, uh, or that I would eat a Bowser flavored Joy-Con <laughs> if, uh, if, if I was wrong, um, but we'll, we'll see. Another thing we did find out for sure due to the playful banter on Twitter between Jeff Keighley, the host for the Game Awards and uh, the Sonic Twitter account, that uh, there is going to be some Sonic news. I'm very hopeful that we get uh, information on Sonic Zap, or uh, as we, as the internet has decoded it, uh, Sonic Rangers. We'll see if that's the case. Um, but I, I'm hopeful that this next Sonic game is good. The last couple of outings have left people questioning whether 3D Sonics are even possible to be made good anymore. Regarding, give something for Sonic fans to be hopeful about, uh, as well as we're going to get the the Sonic um, movie trailer uh, for Sonic 2 coming out this April and I, I talk about hype uh, I I know we're getting Knuckles in that one and Knuckles is my favorite Sonic character always has been um, and uh, I've, I've loved this whole Sonic 2 Sonic 3 Sonic and Knuckles storyline um, since I was a kid at some of my earliest moments in gaming I think it's I think it's the same for a lot of us the older folks uh, but uh, that storyline to me was as epic as it gets all the way from the beginning of Sonic 3 when he first meet Knuckles all the way to the end uh, with the, you know, the, the doomsday zone. And uh, so to have these characters realize and have this, this story being told um, on the big screen is kind of surreal. Um, <laughs> on along those lines, um, the third thing I'm very hopeful for is that we get maybe a movie trailer or even a, a some kind of teaser trailer for the Mario movie uh, starring Chris Pratt and Jack Black as Bowser uh, with Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong and uh, Charlie Day as Luigi um, and Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach and uh, and Michael Keegan Key playing Toad we we had a big reaction to that that was like uh, <laughs> that was a, a, a huge a huge win for the casting um, despite maybe some opinions regarding Chris Pratt has become the meme right now. Is Chris Pratt is every voice ever. What else are we hoping for? Ah, some getting some God of War news um, beyond the trailer that we've seen. Maybe uh, you know an extended gameplay clip, the Wolverine game, maybe some uh, Spider-Man. Basically, just everything Insomniac. I want to see uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West. Hopefully, the Game Awards gives us something along those lines. I'm hoping for a big night of reveals, and that's the thing. It, it actually came on a tweet recently where people are asking, like, if you if it wasn't for the reveals, would you really care 
for the Game Awards. And that's kind of where I go towards the negative. I think it's important for everybody to remember that, you know, while we have a lot of games on the horizon, you know, we still have like uh, Kirby to look forward to. We still have a Splatoon. Uh, we still had a disappointing year as far as game releases goes um, on the grander scale. When you look at what the nominees are for like game of the year or anything like that, a lot of what we're looking at is um, kind of just, it feels like a filler year. You know what I mean? There wasn't the next Breath of the Wild. There wasn't the next Splatoon. There wasn't the next God of War. There wasn't, you know, there, it was like, I think our, our biggest title really was a 2D platformer that was made in the style of the older platformers. And maybe beside that, we have Ratchet and Clank, which in my opinion, despite how much I loved Metroid Dread, I think that Ratchet and Clank should be game of the year. So I think Jeff and, and everybody is kind of getting everybody, hey, hey, look forward, look at the reveals, look at the reveals, look at the reveals, because there just wasn't a whole lot of big, big game releases. And I think that this time next year, we're gonna have a lot bigger of a pool of uh, AAA titles to, you know, look at, so. And then of course, uh, there was the big thing now, let, let's let's talk about Jeff Keighley and let's talk about uh, the Game Awards and Activision Blizzard. Um, the short version here, we're gonna walk it back, just in case you're uninitiated and you're not paying attention to what's going on. Blizzard Activision, uh, they are in a lot of legal trouble. They have, their employees have had, a, they've staged multiple walkouts regarding uh, sexual sexual assault claims and just um, really bad management from the top levels of Blizzard Activision. And they're being held accountable. They're even being federally investigated at this point. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not gonna break down everything <laughs> that they have done or they have been accused of, but it's out there, easy to find, and feel free to go through if you need some background. Um, that being said, the fans of the Game Awards have come forward and they've asked Jeff Keighley to outline what the Game Awards involvement is regarding uh, inclusion of Blizzard Activision's new products. And after about a day or two of radio silence, Jeff did come back and he said, we can confirm that beyond the games that they've been nominated for, that there will be no involvement from Blizzard or Activision, or Blizzard Activision and and the Game Awards, and that they stand with the employees and that the gaming industry is no place for sexual assault or racism or anything that along those lines, and they're not gonna be involved, and we'll see you Thursday. And everybody said like, oh, he's saying all the right stuff. And that's the thing, he's saying all the right stuff. And I, I can probably confirm that he is right, that he is probably telling the truth as far as what will be on the stage what will be on the screen on the stage? But what about those moments in between? What about the B-roll? What about the ad breaks? Are they still taking giant checks from Blizzard Activision to show the new Call of Duty stuff? I mean, let's, I'm a, I play Call of Duty like pretty regularly. Call of Duty just had, Call of Duty Vanguard just dropped like last week and, or maybe a week or two ago. And then tomorrow, on uh, as of the 9th or the 10th, the new Call of Duty Warzone map drops. And this is huge. It's a whole new map. It's like, uh, you know, imagine that, you know, Fortnite got a big new map. You, you hear about it. Imagine PUBG got a new map or, or something like Apex Legends. It gets a whole new map. You hear about that. They advertise that. Game Awards is happening at the same time as a new map drop where a member of the board of directors for the Game Awards is the president of Blizzard Activision, or at least was. Apparently the rumor is he's stepping down. Are they really going to not advertise at the Game Awards tomorrow? Are we really not gonna see a single ad regarding Blizzard, Activision, and Call of Duty? Are we not gonna see one? I'm not saying that they're going to be on the stage. I'm not saying that Jeff Keighley is going to be standing up there. I'm not saying that any of their their people are going to be there pre presenting. But will they be shown in B-roll ads? <laughs> Absolutely. There's no question in my mind. If I'm wrong, I will eat. I'll eat this game and watch. I'll eat. I'll, I'll swallow it whole, which would be really unfortunate for you, the viewer, because I'm doing a giveaway for this, but if I have to eat it, well then there's nothing to give away, is there? But yes, if you want 
to win this. We're actually doing a giveaway. The tweet will be posted tomorrow on twitter.com slash solace and thread. Go follow us. Go like the tweet and retweet the tweet. And you have a chance to win this delicious Zelda Game & Watch with Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and a bunch of watch functions programmed directly in it. Delicious. Anyway, so that's that. Um, But that is why I'm convinced Jeff Keighley is lying. I would love to be wrong. I would love to be wrong. I would love for my faith in humanity to be restored here. Was that in my beard the whole time, bro? Expect a lot of reaction videos and trailers uh, to the trailers that are coming out uh, posted on this channel. If you want to watch the wa- watch it with us and our community, the watch party is on twitch.tv slash solace and dread. We'll be going live around 5 p.m. Eastern on um, 12 9. So that's tomorrow. And uh, we'll be watching it together as a community, as we always do every year. And we'll be freaking the heck out when we get Rise of Ganon content. I, I'm going to sound like an idiot when I watch this in two days and it's not called Rise of Ganon and Ganon has nothing to do with the title and people are calling back to my tweet where I said I would eat a Joy-Con. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Long live the Turtle Kingdom. Uh, if you want more content sort of like this, let me know. Hit the like button and uh, comment down below the word comment. Bye.